हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू लेसन नंबर फोर मोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेस दिस इज़ द थर्ड वीडियो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी ऑन रिसोर्स मोबिलाइजेशन टिल द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट रिसोर्सेज हाउ दे आर मोबिलाइज एंड यू नो वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन सम ऑफ द केस स्टडीज अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन रिसोर्स मोबिलाइजेशन इज बेसिकली वेलफेयरिज्म ओके सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट रिसोर्स मोबिलाइजेशन वी से दैट हाउ एफिशियंटली ओके हाउ एफिशियंटली अ रिसोर्स कैन बी मोबिलाइज और इट कैन बी एलोकेटेड सो दैट मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट ऑफ द इकोनॉमी हैपन्स और मैक्सिमम ग्रोथ हैपन्स बट समटाइम्स इट मे हैपन दैट दिस एफिशियंट एलोकेशन दैट इज यू नो द एलोकेशन ऑफ रिसोर्स which is efficient meaning which will give the maximum economic output may not be desirable to us for example there may be concentration of resources in the hands of a few people that may be efficient but that may not be desirable state because many of the people will not be benefited out of it similarly it may be efficient that the resources be concentrated in only a few uh, states or few cities but again it is not desirable so we have to balance allocation of resources uh, you know efficiently versus what is desirable for a you know bet uh, you know for a larger society so the concept that comes into picture here is welfareism so while resource mobilization we also have to look at the welfareism of the people so what is welfareism welfareism is basically a socio economic philosophy it is actually a socio economic philosophy okay it is a socio economic philosophy which prioritizes the welfare of the population as a primary goal of the government and not just efficient allocation of resources so welfare of the population meaning okay welfare in hindi or you know in crude terms it is called kalyan लोक कल्याण सो दैट यू नो देर इज अ यू नो वेलफेयर ऑफ द पुअर पीपल ऑफ द पीपल हु आर नॉट एंडाउड विथ रिसोर्सेज एज सच सो वी हैव टू प्रायोरिटाइज द वेलफेयर ऑफ द एंटायर पॉपुलेशन एंड दिस इज अ फिलोसॉफी विच प्रायोरिटाइज पीपल वेलफेयर एज अ प्राइमरी गोल ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एट द सेम टाइम हैविंग मैक्सिम एफिशियंसी एज पॉसिबल सो इट एम्स टू एनश्योर अ मिनिमम स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ लिविंग and address inequalities through public programs subsidies and safety nets okay so various programs government have so that uh, you know welfareism is achieved so that people get benefited their standard of livings improve inequalities will decrease and the core idea is basically to support the marginalized and underprivileged section the poor section the socio economically backward sections and we have to ensure access to basic needs such as education health food and employment so this has to be ensured and this has to be the actual primary objective of the government and resource mobilization now it also often aligns with redistributive policies meaning redistributive policies meaning taking wealth from one hand and giving it to the uh, needy one okay so uh, taxing the rich and redistributing it through the government channel to the poor so this is the wealth redistribution where wealth and resources are reallocated from affluent sections to the underprivileged so this is basically the goal of the welfare state so um, there are various uh, interventions that the government uh, you know uh, have various welfare schemes are there and governments they embrace welfareism through various direct interventions like subsidies various schemes and social security programs so what are the various welfare schemes in india let us see that so the first one is towards poverty alleviation so india follows a mixed economic model we have seen this previously also mixed economic model meaning some of the sectors are handled by the state they are state run and some of them are given to the private sector so we follow a mixed economic model 
with a significant emphasis on welfare so india is a welfare state so we look at the welfare of the people and there are some prominent schemes uh, you know uh, towards poverty alleviation so one of them is manrega what is manrega it is very famous scheme mahatma gandhi national rural employment act this is the full form of manrega what it does is it provides 100 days of guaranteed wage employment annually to a rural household so this we have seen previously also it provides 100 days of guaranteed wage employment okay guaranteed wage employment to a rural household okay so see there are some important words here one is 100 days uh, annually okay annually wage employment annually so and 100 days per annum meaning in 365 days 100 days guaranteed wage employment and it is for rural area and it is for a household so from one household one member is given not that if there are five people in household five people will be given so it is for a household then the second one is the nsap national social assistance program basically this is a kind of cash support which is given to the marginalized sections like old age people widow disability people right Dis uh, disability assistance which are given to persons with disabilities so these are basically the pension schemes okay so there are various pension schemes like indira gandhi national old age program indira gandhi national widow pension indira gandhi national uh, uh, you know um, disability pension so there are various kinds of pension then there are various pensions given by the state government also right so like in odisha the pension given is madhu babu pension yojana in maharashtra you know the pension is rama bai ambedkar pension yojana so there are various kinds of pensions which are which are given from the state government also under the nsap program okay or social assistance program so this is one of the welfare measures then the second one is towards health and sanitation now what are the various schemes here very famous and very important one is the ayushman bharat scheme which is basically pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana it is a world's largest health insurance scheme which offers free secondary and tertiary care to economically weaker sections right and recently some uh, important changes have also been done in this whereby an elderly person will be given free treatment for secondary and tertiary care regardless of the economic condition so this is the important change that the government has brought about recently swachh bharat abhiyan this is towards achieving the sanitation goal right basically giving toilets to the poor people who previously used to defecate in open so universal sanitation coverage elimination of open defecation these are the important you know goals of this scheme poshan abhiyan basically to target malnutrition among children women and adolescents so uh, you know we see that malnutrition is a major problem in our country stunting uh, wasting then you know low weight uh, you know for height uh, then you know low height for uh, age so low weight for age so these are the various things then anemia in women uh, girls uh, these are the various issues related to malnutrition so all those issues are actually targeted through the poshan abhiyan then next one is education sector what is what are the various important welfare schemes in education so one is the mid day meal scheme okay basically to give free meals to school children to uh, you know improve their enrollment and also nutritional levels so it is basically for government schools and till class 8 uh, free meals are given to the children where if they go to the school then samagra shiksha abhiyan um you know this is basically to universalize the quality education from elementary to secondary previously it was for elementary which where whereby it was called sarva shiksha abhiyan launched back during the time of atal bihari vajpayee government but later on it also included the secondary sections and then it was renamed as samagra shiksha abhiyan meaning universal education program then finally pm e vidya prime minister e vidya which basically is for digital education post covid it enhances the digital education post pandemic period the next one is food security program 
सो यू नो मैनी ऑफ द पीपल दे आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन दी नेशनल फूड सिक्योरिटी प्रोग्राम्स सो वी हैव पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम अंडर दी एन एफ एस ए सो इट सप्लाईज सब्सिडाइज फूड ग्रेन्स टू इकोनॉमिकली डिसएडवांटेज पॉपुलेशन्स एंड थ्रू द नेशनल फूड सिक्योरिटी एक्ट इट हैज़ बिकम अ स्टैचुटरी राइट ऑफ द पीपल विच गारंटीज फूड एंटाइटलमेंट्स टू ऑलमोस्ट टू थर्ड ऑफ अवर पॉपुलेशन अगेन अ वेरी गुड वेलफेयर स्कीम देन हाउसिंग ओके हाउसिंग फॉर एवरीबडी बेसिकली पी एम आवास योजना प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट स्कीम देन एग्रीकल्चर एंड रूरल डेवलपमेंट दिस इज अनदर एरिया वेर वेर यू नो वेलफेयर स्कीम्स आर देयर पी एम किसान वेर डायरेक्ट इनकम सपोर्ट टू स्मॉल एंड मार्जिनल फार्मर्स इज गिवन एंड पी एम फसल बीमा योजना इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट देम फ्रॉम यू नो नेचुरल कैलामिटीज देन द नेक्स्ट एरिया वेर वेलफेयर स्कीम्स आर देयर इज वीमेन एंड चाइल्ड वेलफेयर बेसिकली बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ दिस इज़ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट स्कीम टू यू नो प्रमोट जेंडर इक्वालिटी एंड टूवर्ड्स द गर्ल चाइल्ड एजुकेशन ऑल्सो देन पी एम मातृ वंदना योजना दिस इज़ एनदर स्कीम वेर मेटर्निटी बेनिफिट प्रोग्राम विच प्रोवाइड्स फाइनेंशियल एड टू प्रेगनेंट वुमेन इज गिवन सो दैट यू नो दे ईट प्रॉपरली ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी विच अल्टीमेटली रिजल्ट इन टू बेटर न्यूट्रिशन एंड ऑल्सो अ काइंड ऑफ इनकम सपोर्ट टू द वर्किंग वुमेन एट द टाइम ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी then social security this is another area where uh, you know some this is towards welfare of the people so atal pension yojana this is for unorganized sector workers uh, we have seen this in detail in our prelims video series you can see there what what is atal pension yojana then pm suraksha bima yojana again for affordable accident insurance for the poor people who cannot afford you know private insurance so this is a uh, very good scheme for them which gives them a kind of safety net so this schemes give safety nets to the people who are working in unorganized sectors and you know who cannot afford costly insurances outside so um these are some of the important schemes there are other schemes also we can argue that they are also towards the welfare only however um uh, you know uh, these are some of the important ones that i want to list here uh and uh, i hope this is um, you know you understand you know uh, what we are talking about here when it uh, you know how welfare relates to uh, you know resource allocation and how um, uh, you know our goal is to basically achieve welfare through redistributive policies okay and at the same time achieving efficiency in resource allocation so we have to balance these two things okay so uh, we'll continue it in the next video thank you